Hey guys, it's book review time. So this time we're doing two books, and we're doing a new book, a new series, and it is called Undead and Unwed by Mary Janice Davison. And this is a really funny book. Um, it's a vampire book, but it starts out with Elizabeth Taylor. Call her Betsy. She hates her name, obviously. And um, so she's out one night, and she goes out to find her cat because the cat's missing. So while she's out in the middle of Minnesota weather, of course it's snowing, of course it's freezing, she gets attacked by a vampire. Well, she wakes up, and she's at the mortician's. And she kind of figures out through a series of weird, freaky-deaky events that she's undead. Uh, she jumps off a building, she drinks Drano, she tries to stab herself, and while she's doing all this, she goes back to her apartment, and she finds that her step monster has stolen all of her high-end shoes. We're talking Gucci, we're talking Prada, we're talking Chanel. So she goes back with her best friend, and they get the shoes back, and they whoop some stamp monster butt, and she kind of discovers she's a vampire. Well, during the whole course of the story, she meets a guy named Mark, who's super suicidal and super gay. So, they become friends, and they all kind of live together. Well, while this is going on, she gets this call from a vampire secret organization and they tell her to come meet him so while she goes to meet him she's kidnapped by the head vampire and his name is Nostro but of course his real name isn't Nostro it's like something boring so anyway she meets him and she decides that you know this whole cloak and dagger Dracula thing is so not me so she decides to overthrow him with the help of her new vampire friend, Sinclair. But she calls him Stinklair. Um, they kind of have a love-hate relationship right now. Uh, his real name is Eric. And this is not Eric from True Blood. But just think, Eric from True Blood with black hair. So, super hot. And he really likes her right away. So, she... With the help of him and his vampire friends... They overthrow Nostro, and right in the middle of it, he kind of tricks her, and he's, he's all burned and stuff from the fight. So they go in the pool, and they actually have sex. So what she, he doesn't tell her was, is if they mate, they become vampire husband and wife, and king and queen, and they shall rule for a thousand years. So now she's like super pissed, because she's stuck with this guy, and she, she likes him, but she's also mad at him. So, it's kind of a love-hate thing right now. Um, I really like the book. It's, it's funny because the chapters are really, really short, and you can fly through it in, like, a couple days. It's super funny, and it, it kind of takes a light-hearted look at vampires and the whole vampire genre. Um, it's, it's definitely a girly book. It's definitely something you can laugh at with your friends. Um, I think you'd really like it, so, you know, check it out and let me know. Uh, okay, now the next one is the fourth book in Charlene Harris' Dead to the World. Now this is the True Blood Season 4 that is out on TV right now. Um, okay, it's kind of like the show, but it's pretty much not. Well, uh, Eric is loses his memory by the witches. Sookie finds him and keeps him in her house with the help of the vampires, because she has to hide him, obviously. And so while this is going on, her brother disappears. Well, she finds out her brother's been taken by werepanthers, and now he's going to be a werepanther too. Also, um, there's a big battle with the witches, and Sookie and Eric really fall in love. She sees a really different side of Eric, because he's he's sweet, and he's vulnerable, and he's caring, and he's nice, and he's not this bloodthirsty, mean guy. And she thinks that, you know, they could have a future together. 
But just as soon as she gets comfortable, the spell wears off and he's back to his normal Eric self. So she kind of has to realize that, you know, this is never really true. Also, um, she kills Debbie Pelt. And that was just the icing on my cake. I loved it because I didn't like Debbie Pelt. But you can kind of tell that there's going to be major ramifications for that in the future. Um, it was, of course, a great book. I loved it a lot. It definitely showed Eric in a different light, and I think that the TV show is doing a really good job of that, too. I think also that um, the show is taking the essence of the book, but they're adding so much more to it. So I think that, you know, even if they do end the book series in a couple more books, I think they could t continue on for many years. Um, of course, loved it, not a problem, so let me know if you guys did too, and I look forward to hearing from you, so keep reading, because you know I will. Bye.